Hey, this is Unropsman, and you're in the place for athletic super achievement. You know, one of the biggest things that people have a problem with, that basketball players just can't get over, is the non-dominant hand, generally the left hand. This is my left hand. I know on camera it looks like the right hand, but I'm, I'm turned around here. So the left hand, you know, being able to, to dribble the basketball with the left hand is something a lot of people can't do. Even pros, even, you, even on the NBA level, you see guys who their left hand is non-existent. They just can't ball with it. So uh, people actually scout them and make them, force them to their non-dominant hand. So you need to be ambidextrous, meaning you need to be able to use both hands with equal efficiency. And you know, one of the things that made me a better ball player when I was growing up was I actually focused on developing my left hand so I could do hooks with it. I'd be, I'd be like doing this little left hand hook where I'd shield some of my body and I'd do this left hand hook and throw the ball in the bucket. And when people can't get around, I mean, like there's so much space in here, you're not getting blocked. Like if I'm like this, Ain't nobody gonna block that because they gotta be able to jump way up here, you know, like they gotta jump like 11, 12 feet in the air to be able to block something like that. But knowing how to use that left hand for layups, for even shooting, I mean, sometimes I'll just, you know, sit at the, the, the foul, you know, the free throw line and I'll just shoot left handed. Now, I'm a right handed person. My dominant hand is my right hand. My better hand is my right hand. But you know what? Left-handed, I'll just shoot there and shoot left-handed. And, and when you're shooting left-handed, when you're getting better with your left hand, what, you, what you'll notice is that you're, when, when you're in a game, you're using your left hand more and people can't really compete with that because if they're expecting you to be right-handed and you go around them on the left side all the way to the bucket and lay it in, they're like, what? Oh, uh, how did that happen? So then they start guarding you on the left and your, your dominant side opens up again and you're able to go around them on the dominant side. So the key here is build up your weak hand. If you're left-handed, use your right. Build up your right hand. If you're right-handed, use your left. Build up your left hand. Make sure that your hand gets better, that you can not only dribble with it, but you can also shoot with it too, that you can improve it, that you can make it better. And the key with your left hand is there's actually specific exercises you can do to build up your non-dominant hand, to build up your, 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 your skills in both hands. And it, it's about those, those little tweaks that make the biggest difference. So when you're, when you're going to improve your basketball handling skills, when you're going to improve your left hand, when you make yourself better, there's a program that um, that a guy, you know, Alex put up this great program on ball handling, and he'll actually show you how to inc improve your non-dominant hand so that you're dribbling better, that your your hand is is just like it, it's as good, if not better, than your dominant hand by the time you're done with this program. So run over to his, pro click this link right here, and pick up his his program because it's going to make a freaking mountain of difference in how you come across, how you play on the court, because if you've got the ability to go by them with your left and with your right, then they need to play you straight up and it's a lot harder on the defensive end for them to play you because you're going to score more points. That's, that's all it is. Like flat out, you're going to score more points with your left hand being completely hooked up and ready to go. So pick up Alex's course, try it out, and you know, like be really stoked about how improved that your, your ball handling gets because when you have that ball handling skill, and you have just this masterful technique of ball handling. I mean, take Muggsy Bogues, for instance. Muggsy Bogues was an NBA basketball player who's five foot three inches tall. Five foot three. Dude was not in the NBA because of his height. 
He was in the NBA because he had major skills with the ball. He'd be like running up the court and you couldn't even see the basketball. It was moving so fast. And that guy, I mean, he was a point guard for the Charlotte Hornets back when, you know, the, uh, Charlotte had the Hornets. And like the dude just freaking rocked as a ball player. The guy was awesome. He'd come up the court, you know, uh, move around people, five foot three. Nobody was stealing the ball from him because he was just everywhere and he was fast and he was really, really, really good with his handles. So make sure you get good with your handles. Make it a great day.